groups. We talked about Mayor of Easttown. We talked about uh, Puerto Rico independence. Uh, we talked about movies, TVs in general. So I had a, a great, I hope you had a good time. I had a great time. Uh, but like I said, one of the things that just kept popping up when I was like, let me let me find out a little bit about Gabriela so I can so I can do my bracket bit. What's your love of Keanu Reeves movies? So our last bracket bit of the day is going to be Keanu versus Keanu. All right. I oh. picked 16 Keanu rolls. We're going to see which one makes it to the end. All right. You ready? Yes. All right. We got Mr. Thomas Anderson, also oh, known no. as Neo from The Matrix, or a very, I remember going on a date with the girl to watch this, Mr. Keanu from A Walk in the Clouds. I love A Walk in the Clouds. Neo, Keanu, or Rom? Uh, that's not a rom com. It's more of a it's rom. A drama. A dramatic it's a drama. drama. A dramedy, yes. Walk in the Clouds. Oh, my God. I Mm-hmm. <laughs> they both have their perks. Right, one of them's in the Matrix, and the other one is. Uh, I, oh, I mean, oh. like Neo's technically dead, so. <laughs> hey, the, like I said, I create the bracket. You, whatever methodology you want to use, and reasoning and thought process. You can even say which one would win in a fight in the real world. Whatever you want. Whatever your decision is, you tell me who moves on. <laughs> Walking in the Clouds, Keanu, or Neo, Keanu? I'm, go- I'm thinking about which of those movies I have seen the most times. <laughs> well, The Matrix has three new films, right? Yeah. The Matrix is one of my all-time favorite films. Part three with the guy with the uh, with the colonel talk and that eight oh. hours about believing you have a choice is having a choice, but if you don't have, yeah, a I don't, choice, I don't like to talk about the third one. That's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Third Matrix, third Supra- third uh, Godfather didn't happen. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a walk in the clouds and a heathen. A walk in the clouds and an upset in the first round. A walk in the clouds, Keanu takes a walk to the second round. One of my favorite uh, Keanu performances, uh, narcoleptic, in my own private Idaho. Love uh, that movie. With River Phoenix, classic indie yeah. film, or culturally appropriating Keanu as Kai in the Forty Seven Ronin. I mean, <laughs> Keanu is Asian, so it wasn't a Pro- movie that's- problematic. Keanu, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's a uh, Kai, it's a bad movie. Kai from Forty Seven Ronin or uh, indie Keanu from this My Own one, Private this, Idaho. This one's easy. Obviously, My Own Private Idaho. My Own Private Idaho. That's one of my favorites. Uh, Donnie. Barksdale from The Gift, oh. so like uh, Mystical Keanu, or Johnny Mnemonic from Johnny Mnemonic. Uh, the Gift is so bad. It is really bad. Johnny Mnemonic, even though Johnny it's not Mnemonic. good, but at least he wasn't a racist like Donnie in The Gift. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Harker from Bram Stoker's Dracula. Oh, so the, horrible, the horrible British accent. How can we uh, Oh, man. Uh, or Kevin Lomax from The uh, or Lawyer Keanu. The devil's advocate. The devil's advocate. Tempted by the devil, Keanu, or tempted by Dracula, Keanu? <laughs> Just got it from Parker. That was such a horrible performance. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, man. He was coming off of Bill and Ted, you know. He was like, hey, you want to be in a dragon? Yeah, I'll be in a dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Lomax, but only because I like devil's advocate more than Dracula. Devil's advocate. All right, that's fine. Ted Theodore Logan. No. <laughs> or John Constantine. So we have time traveling, lo- time traveling Keanu, or uh, fighting the devil Keanu, which he kind of did in Devil's Advocate as well. But I'm no. Can I plead the fifth? <laughs> <laughs> you can phone a friend if you'd like. <laughs> no, if, if I phone a friend, it's going to be very divisive. It's going to okay. be like. 50 50 because I have friends that love Bill and Ted, I have friends that love Constantine. It's going to be right up the middle, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna go again with which one have I seen the most, and that's Constantine. Constantine, John Constantine, yeah. Bill love and Ted. Constantine. I'm excited to see the next Bill and Ted, though. It's, it's really fun. good, like it definitely yeah. lives up to because I love the first one, the second one I really don't like as much, but the third one managed to combine what made both movies good. It's really good. I really liked it. Is it on? Is it? Is it on demand or Hulu? Or I think you can or? rent it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to check really that out. Good. It was a one right. box from last year. Shane Falco. This is a tough one for me. Shane Falco versus Johnny Utah. Where was Shane Falco? 
the replacements. He was oh. uh, he was a he was a quarterback that was yeah. a replacement player, or yeah. he was a FBI agent that was a former football player. Make it two, Utah. Uh, Make it two. Yeah, the, the replacements is like my dad's favorite movie. Mm. But I love Point Break. That's one of my favorites. So I'm a surfer. Little... Point Break. Johnny yeah. Utah moves on to I the second round. Break. Make it two, Utah. Make it two. Utah. Uh, Don John from Much Ado About Nothing or The Neon Demon? Don John. Don John. Keep cashing those paychecks, though, Keanu. Keep I them. swear, I have given that man so many royalties. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Big favorite in this bracket, John Wick versus one of, Keanu, one of Keanu's early roles that put him on the back, Jack Traven from Speed. What do you do? What do you do? This one's so easy for me. It's John Wick. John Wick. All right, it's John too Wick. Too easy John. for me. Yeah, that's why I left. That's why I left them for last because I figured we'll put John Wick at the bottom of the bracket to disguise the fact that it's gonna be tough. But there's some pretty other. There's some iconic Keanu roles here. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. But John Wick versus Don John. John. Oh, John Wick. John Wick. John Constantine or Johnny Utah? Oh, fun fact, I actually did a PowerPoint ranking all the Johns because Keanu has played so many John characters that I have. A, I did a PowerPoint presentation to like figure out who was the best John. Really? Yes. Wait, uh, wait, wait. It was a tie between John Wick and Johnny Utah. Classic. Yeah. Because I did well, it last if they were Tinder profiles. It was this whole thing. <laughs> Sounds awesome. It was... <laughs> <sighs> okay, so Constantine. I love to geek out about movies, roles, and stuff like that. So yeah, obviously I'm done. Uh, that's awesome. Lord John Constantine or Johnny Utah? Let's back at it. Take us through your thought process. Bust out the PowerPoint if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought like the, I thought you use the downside of Constantine is that he's he's a chronic smoker that he you know. And then you ties that he's a workaholic and that he's obviously in love with Patrick Swayze. So that's going to be a conflict of interest if he's in love with Patrick Swayze. This is the whole thing that I that I say. Oh, great. <laughs> I can see it's a love. I can see it as a love story. It's a love story. <laughs> it's a love, you know, how can how else can you explain? He, him him he, he, he jumps. Him he jumps after him without a parachute knowing he was gonna catch him yeah if i was on a plane and it was only two parachutes and it was me and my girlfriend and out of the arms <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, the joke was right there. I couldn't. I could not make it. I'm sorry. That's wrong. That's wrong. I don't know, man. I don't I'm, gonna marry, that I'm gonna marry that girl. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> All right. The question reminds John Constantine or Johnny. Oh, the thing is that I've seen Constantine and Point Break like the same amount of times. So in terms of rewatchability factor, we're, we're stuck here. We are coming to standstill. Do you do you, do you flip a point in that say that like if if you're like uh, again the snowed in New York scenario you got two DVDs to to pass two hours you know right now like what are you popping in right now yeah when I, when I always get stuck on some of these I say if I was gonna watch a movie right now or if I was gonna you know do something right now which of these two things would I do or which one would I watch you know it's kind of like that flip a coin in the air when it's in the air you'll realize what you're hoping for. So if you say right now Constantine because I haven't seen it in a while. Okay. Hey. Constantine. Constantine moves on. Johnny Utah. Johnny Mnemonic or Kevin Lomax? Kevin Lomax because I like that movie more. Okay. A Walk in the Clouds. No, God. Or My Own Private Idaho. So Indie Keanu or Dramedy Keanu? I'm Dramedy. Drama Keanu. Drama Keanu. Rome, Drum Drum. Rum, drama. A walk in the clouds. A walk in the clouds. And then Kevin Lomax or Mr. Walk in the Clouds. Devil Keanu or Romantic Keanu? A walk in the clouds. <laughs> walk in the clouds. A walk in the clouds. Rusting through this bracket, going through all covers. 
All right, and then in this one, which I think is uh, probably the only tough competition here for Mr. John, another battle of the John, Constantine or Wick? Wick. Wick. So here comes Keanu. Oh, God. With his, with his jug of fresh wine, you know, and his little white puffy shirt with his khakis, and he's walking along. And then here pulls up Keanu in this Mustang with his pit bull next to him and uh, in a nine. And they face off. And, you know, John Wick's got to decide whether he's going to shoot romantic Keanu in the head and win this bracket. You or... wouldn't, wouldn't shoot romantic Keanu because he didn't <laughs> harm his dog. No, because the dog would run up to Keanu and he would like feed it some grapes, but then the grapes would kill the dog. I'm just How dare you? Sorry, sorry, never mind. Sorry. <gasps> don't, feed, don't feed your dogs grapes. Is the, no. Is the that story. Um, <laughs> but again, uh, Gabriel, I, I appreciate you uh, that I reached out to you and you decided to come on uh, to do this uh, mayor podcast. But also, I, I'm glad that you came on and stayed on for a while and talked about your life as a film critic. Um, and. Uh, your experiences uh, in Puerto Rico as well. So I want to thank you, number one, for that. I want to make sure everybody goes and watches the uh, and listens to the Film Poser podcast. Um, and um, and I also want to say that uh, Keanu versus Keanu has been a really fun bracket. I'm glad we could end it on a funny note. So that being said, you are the fan. You are the critic. We look forward to seeing what you do uh, as you move on. And, and I want to see, you know, what you, what you guys write, produce, etc. But right now, you got two movies in front of you and only one right answer. This feels like America's Next Top Model. And we'll have the answer right after this. Um, it, yeah. I mean... It's just... It's so two completely different characters. Right. As they say in the Highlander, there can be. Now, this doesn't lessen your love of any one of these two movies. This just happens to be who wins this particular bracket. A walk in a cloud, Keanu has breezed through this. It was it's it, it's an underrated film of his, you know. It's one of my favorites. Features some great ranking. scenery. I have a list on Letterbox wrecking his entire filmography. So I guess it is a good matchup against. You know, action Keanu, Keanu that went to like uh, gun school and like assassin school for like eight months. Like this is like new, like respectful Keanu that won't put his hand on a woman's back when he's taking a picture. This is like evolved Keanu versus young up and coming romance Keanu. You know. I'm gonna have to go with John Wick. John Wick. All right, that's why he was the number one rated uh, here. I put him at the bottom because I know you're a huge fan. I so am. obviously, 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 I am. I hope you had, I hope you had fun during those brackets. Yeah. Though, <laughs> 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 <laughs>